God came in and asked me a question, and I want to talk about it with you today. The Holy Ghost came in and asked me a few questions, and it rocked me to my very core. And I thought I'd ask you those same questions. So I want to ask you, if a lost loved one that has gone on to glory came back to visit you, would you drop everything, no matter how busy you are, to spend time with them? Would you want them to know everything about your day and how you're doing and how things are since they've left you? I know I would. Then he asked me another question. He said, would you care about a gift that they brought you because they came back on your birthday. Immediately I thought of so many birthdays with so many cards and presents and things that were sent to me that at the time, while that loved one was with me, I cared a lot about. As a child, it was one of the coolest things to get mail. And I loved opening up those cards and money falling out of it. But I suddenly thought about, I don't, I don't think I would care about that gift. I just don't. I think that I would want that loved one to come along my entire day and spend time with me and I would want to catch them up on everything. Everything that I've been doing, everything that I miss, all the questions that I would love to ask them. If they weren't gone, if they were still here, I wouldn't care what they brought me, my birthday or not. My birthday would not be about me, it would be about them. Spending time with them, connecting with them, loving on them. And then he said, I came and I died and I have a gift for you. It took the breath right out of me. It still does. Because he's not a lost loved one. He's in glory. But I I have him here. I can talk to him anytime. He left love letters for me. He left a Bible for me and how much time do I spend with him oh the amount of conviction that came was indescribable because God the one who breathed into mankind the breath of life and man became a living soul desires communion with you and with me he wants so much to be with us. He gives us a gift. It's better than any birthday present that could ever be given. He wants to give you the gift of communion with him, of spending time with him. He can lead us, guide us on a path that we can never possibly even imagine to heights that we could never possibly go on alone. He can guide us, our very steps, everything that we do if we let him. But how often do we ignore him? How often do we just not even let him in on our day or blatantly say, no, I would rather you not come with me here. I don't know about you, but that's my story. More than I'd care to admit. I would love to say I invite him into my very day, my everything, while I'm doing laundry, while I am going to bed as I am waking up in the morning. He's in everything that I do. But I forget. And he's worthy of more than that. He's worthy of praise, glory, honor, adoration, focus, attention, being invited in and I tell you, I commit to you here before God. I commit to you 
I will spend time with God more than I ever have. If that's your story, type I'm blessed in the comments. I will spend time in the comments. I know that this is a small channel, but it would really, really bless me if you would share this message to others because I don't think that this was given to me just for me. I really think that there are those out there that need to know God loves you. He wants to spend time with you. He wrote a love letter to you. He wrote an instruction manual for life. He has not left you. He has not forsaken you. He is here for you. The Bible says he is closer than a brother. He is your God. He is your creator. I don't know if that's something that you have tried to run from or not, but you are created in God's image. And if anything has ever come to you to tell you that you are less than, not worthy, anything, that's coming from the devil because God created you in his likeness. He is your creator and he loves you more than any parent, more than any friend, more than any sister, more than any brother ever could. He is your creator, your comforter, and he desires to spend time with you. I know if my lost loved one came back to me on my birthday with a gift, I wouldn't care about that gift. I would just want to spend time with them. But my Jesus, he's here. The Comforter is here. Holy Ghost is here. And I don't want to ignore him. How about you? Oh, if this message has blessed you, please type in the comments where you are watching from. It blesses my southern socks off to see just how far this little channel is reaching. God came in and he wrecked me. And if this message has helped you, hit that like button. It'll tell the algorithm that, hey, it's okay to share this message around to others. It'll be all right. Go ahead. Share it, algorithm. It'll slap the devil in the face too because he wants to push forward some other stuff. But we Christians, we can push the algorithm if we push content that is good and worthy and pointing people to Jesus and not just engaging in some of the stuff that's all over the internet out there. Thank you so much for the time that you have spent with me. Be sure to share that, share this message and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos coming out in the future. I love you all. Bye.